So, first things first, all you're going to need is a small screwdriver, pry tool, pry pick. Let's get into it. There's only one, two, three, four, five screws. Super simple. You come in here on the hinge. It's probably the easiest way. That way no one sees anything if you do happen to scuff. You know, come around the edge with your pick. Pick it up. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> it's cold. And luckily there's just like some little hinges on the front of the door here. So you'll see these little hinges. They're actually going to seat back into the front here when you put it back on. So that's important to note. So what we have here your NVMe drive, this is going to be your M.2 Wi-Fi. Um, nothing else is really replaceable, of course you can replace the battery and any of your ribbon cables if they get damaged. But outside of that, that's pretty much all you can do. And anyway, so we're going to go ahead and remove this drive just to show you how that's installed should you want to replace it. Just one little tiny screw, this little guy, don't lose that. If you can't get it up, that's what plastic pry tools are all about. Yes. Got it. PCIe MVMe. Super awesome. Super simple. One of these tools go in there. See it down. Nothing crazy. And last but not least, you've got your Wi-Fi card. You can choose to upgrade this. You probably shouldn't unless you have terrible Wi-Fi signal. Pop off your connections. Tiny little screw. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. You know, get up in there. Is that to help you get it out? It's out. We made it, boys. Here we go. Normally you would put these in more at like a 30 to 45 degree angle, but because it's designed to be so thin, it's mm -hmm. really almost like a straight on insert. It's kind of important to note. Putting these back on is the biggest pain. Uh, so you want them to do is line it up. And if you do need to replace the battery, you'll see there's just... And over here as well, I'm just going to flip up and out just to show you how that's done. I'll just do that, because there could be something like tripod related or something under here. Maybe somebody wants to know what that's about. Super simple. Easy to replace battery once you're inside. Fingerprint reader over here, trackpad area, nothing too crazy. CMOS battery if it needs to be replaced. And obviously your speakers, if there's anything wrong with your speakers, easily replaced. Now it looks like this is all one actually, so one speaker, anyway. So these are gonna seat, if you see these here, they actually seat back in these little places here. And it keeps everything nice and secure. So you give that a good press, that's where the battery connects. And secure everything again. And finally, once you've either completed your repair or your upgrade, and once again, remember your little tabs here, important. They're gonna seat on the front of the laptop. And it's gonna come down. Secure everything back in place. Voila. Here we go. Back in business. 